Hey guys, it's Jason here. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, just a short video today to outline the chassis options uh, that we have. So we've got those set out on the homepage of the website, but I often get questions about, you know, um, what are the exact dimensions, you know, what amps can I use the chassis for, and how do I order them? So given that right at the moment I've got one of each of the main chassis uh, that we've designed and that we, um, that we use, I thought I'd uh, quickly go through them. So number one is our 580mm wide chassis, right? So quite a big one. This is what you would use for uh, the MC2 or the MTL uh, board, right? So a couple of things to note with this. Um, it's set up, right, for um, six 12AX7s and two octals so this will you know suit a 50 watt amp there is a version of this that you can order uh, which has four octals and and the six tubes right so suitable obviously for a hundred watt build so it's 580 wide um, but it's a standard small box depth so this is about 170 uh, millimeters deep and a standard you know about a 63 mil uh, high so um, it will actually fit inside a standard um, Marshall small box uh, size head cab, albeit it does need a, a wider uh, opening uh, on the front and rear panels. All right, and moving to number five, um, as listed on the website, this is chassis number five. It is a standard small box size, right? So it's 468 mil uh, wide and you know, 170 deep 63 millimeters high um, so it will fit straight into a standard Marshall small box um, with the standard width opening this is used for the Kelly and it could be used for anything else for that matter but it's set up um, with it's got four 12 AX7s and uh, two octals. I have done a version of this again with four octals for you know, those that um, feel the need to do 100 watt builds, which is cool. The Kelly actually only needs three preamp tubes, but look, I put four on here in case, you know, for future proofing the chassis design. Um, one thing I should point out while I've got this here, all of my chassis designs are pre-drilled with the standoff holes. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but on the inside of the chassis, We've got pre-drilled holes here, um, and so I see we you can you know screw your standoffs in here, and then the PCB mounts on the standoffs. Now um, these are actually um, preset for the standoff holes on the PCB. So you know if you get a Kelly uh, Project PCB and you order this chassis, you will not have to drill the chassis for the standoff holes. So I'll just go straight in. And you'll be able to um, screw the uh, the PCB straight into the chassis, which is clearly a huge help. You'll notice that these aren't pre-drilled for transformers. So what I find, well, obviously with project builds, is you know people have different transformers that they want to use. Maybe they're sourcing them locally. Maybe it's a set that they've already got. I do have a version of both the MC2 MTL uh, chassis and the Kelly chassis that we just looked at, um, which are pre-drilled for serotone transformers. And the last one I've got here is, um, again, it's a small box size chassis. It's exactly the same size as uh, the Kelly. So 468 by 170, by about 63 high. Um, and you see the difference on this one is just a tube configuration. So it's three and three. So three, three 12 AX7s, uh, three octals, right? So two octals for power tubes and a third because this is for our double Shirley project board which is obviously based on uh, the dirty Shirley amp albeit uh, two channel version um, it's tube rectified right so this is where you, you know, your, your tube rectifier will be in here uh, your power tubes and these two here again it is pre-drilled with the standoffs um, already in here um, so you won't be mucking around trying to fit the board and it'll just slot straight on in there. I also often get questions about faceplates, right? So here is a faceplate that we can do, right? 
um, lifted straight off our chassis design. So this is, as, you know, pretty obviously, is white text on black. We've got a few other different materials um, that we can use to generate different colors. But if I line this up, this is obviously a, uh, looks like an MC2 faceplate. It'll fit straight on, right, straight on your chassis here. Everything lines up beautifully. I still often get asked, um, you know, by people saying, can you do me a faceplate? Well, yes, but as long as you're using my chassis. <laughs> if you're not using my chassis, I can't, because the holes won't line up. Unless you're prepared to drill your chassis to meet my design, then of course that can be done. I've got another one here. This is the gold text on black. So this is obviously a rear of an amp. So I'll just flip this around and uh, you should find that that, you know, it sits on, um, sits on the back of the amp like that. No worries. Now the next question I get asked is how do I order these? But I don't stop them personally, right? So. I have an arrangement set up with Nick at Seriotone. He manufactures these chassis. He manufactures for my own build that I resell, you know, a headfirst branded amp. Um, but he also manufactures for anyone who is looking to do a DIY project and put together their own their own build. So you can go to the front page of the website and you can see, you know, I've literally numbered the one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And that's how you order them. You would email Nick, you'll say, you know, I'm after a, um, a head first custom chassis number, quote the number. He will manufacture these and he will ship them directly to you. I don't, I'm not involved in the transaction. I don't take anything. Uh, no, I'm not clipping the ticket on, on those ones, right? This is uh, just, you know, nice little partnership that's set up with Nick that is helping uh, people with their projects so you can get a chassis that, you know, is well suited for the project board that, um, uh, that you can get from us. And last but not least, head cabs, right? So this is my own personal MTL build. It's been featured on a few clips. Um, this head cab is made by Nick at Seriotone as well. And you can see that he has done these with the wider front opening and the rear opening that the MC2 and the MTL uh, would require if you're going to build one of those for yourself. Um, so this is why we have a couple of chassis options that are pre-drilled for Seriotone transformers because if you're looking to get you know everything from one place um, and save yourself a bit of money on shipping and so on, you could order from Nick uh, a chassis, transformer set, and a head cap. And Seriotone will ship this to you with you know the chassis, the transformers bolted onto the chassis, the chassis mounted inside the head cap. All ready to go and the quality of these head cabs is they're outstanding really do a nice job um, so yeah if you're looking to kind of get, go to one place and get everything else that you need other than the uh, uh, other components for the PCBs um, I highly recommend going to Nick and um, sourcing your parts from him okay guys well I hope that was helpful um, I'll catch you later cheers